to be led by the science, by the evidence. Anti-vaccine thinking and ludicrous anti-vaccine propaganda. Um, social media companies are checking on this now, which is good to see. The official government advice is being given, but there's still a lot of anti-vax gobbledygook out there. Um, that is completely inconsistent with the science, inconsistent with national guidelines inconsistent with international guidelines. Still a bit of a problem. I do not discuss conspiracy theories. We are public health scientists, I'll have you to know. We're the mega big scientists, and if you disagree with us, you're a conspiracy theorist. Is pause and explain to you exactly what the speed of science means. But I haven't got a flipping clue. I do know not what it is. It's just words without meaning. The speed of science is just words without meaning. What does that mean? What's that supposed to mean? What, what... COVID-19 pandemic, the things we've been told that have turned out to be less than accurate. Um, it seems anyone these days can call themselves a fact checker or a debunker. Um, they only had the people that were found dead at home to analyze. Quite simple, isn't it? And I hope you managed to understand that because he explained it in a nice, relaxed way. Now, I believe this guy is a former banker. I haven't checked him out in detail, but I think he's a former banker. So there you go, uh, now a health minister in Indonesia. On a completely separate matter, you know, next time I'm down in London, I must pop into the Bank of England and advise them on global international uh, economic strategy, having spent my entire life in healthcare. And then on the way back, I'll probably pop into Farnborough and give the military pilots a bit of advice on how to fly aeroplanes, having spent my entire life in healthcare. I'm sure I can contribute and get it all worked out with them.